I turn away for two seconds to put on some foundation. And I die. We're doing this again. A note. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. It was a baby? Find my child! Well, not if you kill me! Oh my god, please run. Shit! Are you alright? Oh, hello. Uh, did you... did you see her? She... Uh, drowned. Calm down, you're in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? <laughs> oh, if I told you... you... you I should you'd probably think, think you're crazy mad. anyway. Odd. That is just what your father said to me. You knew my father? How? I treated your father at the asylum. I'm Dr. Leah Faber. The asylum? It's awfully young. Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you're okay. She just made it look young. Nothing wrong with looking young. I look young. Ish. Rude. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But unfortunately, he managed to escape. What? Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you? Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. Okay, Pockmark. What did you come here for? I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. She doesn't look like a natural blonde. It's just all one color blonde. And natural blondes tend to have like multiple blondes. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a, in a madhouse? She's a doctor. I was his doctor. I understand you are in shock. But you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. Now, hold on just a minute. Okay, he wouldn't treat her like this if that was a man. I guarantee you. I don't want to get on a pedestal, but all I'm saying is that if that were a man doctor, he would not be questioning it. He'd be like, well, I mean, why did you feel the need to lock him up? I'm like, why did... Just saying. Just saying. Women don't get the respect. That sometimes I feel like people ought to give them. Oh, 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 oh Jesus! Oh no! No! Oh, what the hell happened? Uh, what? what? Uh, show me! Uh, oh my God! Are you gonna show me? Uh. That the maid? Oh, yeah, it's the maid. Oh, well, shit. It's no good. This is just no good. Did she s slip and hit her head on a giant bucket of blood? <sighs> I survived chapter two. Eddie, it'll be all right. Pull yourself together. Yeah, it's just a maid. Who cares? I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. 
I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. Exactly. How dare you? I was too late. I was trying to help her. She... She... <laughs> uh, you were probably trying to there, molest there, her. There, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Oh, oh well, my sweet 40-year-old boy. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell just like my father. And she'd be right. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me. To prevent any further violent outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong, even then. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Why do you dislike her so much? Jesus. Uh... He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To remove himself from this place? I believe so. And yet here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Why is she not looking at Who me? Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? Though I think what really scared him was beyond the physical. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? Mm. I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son. <sighs> oh, it actually is going to let me enter. Didn't think it would. Well, I have no reason to be in the garden. I was supposed to meet Elise after... Oh, damn. I was supposed to meet her after dinner. She was going to tell me some big secret. Damn. Shoot. Dende died. Well, there goes that. Might as well check the quest log and see what it's been replaced with since I can't meet her after dinner since she's freaking dead. Man, that sucks. She was finally going to tell me something, too. I mean, what is she going to say? That you're flipping crazy? I mean, I already knew that I'm flipping crazy. It doesn't need to have it confirmed. Thank you. Oh, maybe she should tell me why I hate female doctors. Because that is irritating as fuck. What is it? <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. Come with me. I'll come inside in a bit. Don't go. 
Can I just have a few? It's not a request, girl. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's happening to me? David? Is everything all right? We should make haste. Well, I guess going to the garden was the right decision. I'm not entirely sure. Let me see. Nobody in this house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them. Let me check the quest log real fast. Hmm. So probably should get back to the mausoleum that almost killed me. to thank you again for coming to my aid in there. Again? You don't think it's the glad first time. I found you in time. Thankfully, Mr. Harrison had made an educated guess as to your whereabouts. We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. I'll be right back. He's not one for cleaning up after himself. Apparently not. I guess we'll have the key. Unless we can find another way in. Come and look at this. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. Well, it looks like one of the stones is missing. A heavy enough stone to weigh yourself down with. Something's carved into each one. Hmm. I've never seen a rose like this before. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. Interesting. Hmm. Not what I'm looking for. Oh. The garden's going to say anything about the rose.
That's an unusual looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Aye, that's been me. A flower for the flower of Skahandu, Cecilia. My aunt? They're for her. I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, ye kin. Forgive me, but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why, she's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, aye. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. Superstitions don't gain validity just by being believed in for a long time. I'd watch that. Your precious science doesn't have all the answers, lassie. I don't think he's got a real Scottish accent. May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What she to you? You didn't ken her? No, I didn't. But she's family. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to kin. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. Aye, I'm sure you will, laddie. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. If I must. Aye, you must. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. Looking to break some more locks, laddie. Are these... I uh, Cecilia's roses. They're beautiful. I like to think so. But they seem to be the only thing that grows here. These are... Dead as dodos. Hard to raise anything beautiful here ever since Cecilia's gone. At least he's honest. Is there anything I can use in here to break into the cellar? Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You can well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And... this. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it, I, For me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times doing it. On the thorns, you can. Something about the way he talks doesn't sound quite Scottish to me, like doing it. It would have been more like doing it. She must have cut her fingers a thousand times doing it, but I'm not an expert. His accent goes in and out. What the shit? Oh no, I'm in crazy space again. Oh boy. 
Okay, here we go. At least I'm not in the bottom of the lake. Uh. Okay. Oh, touchy time. You are unworthy of the name Gordon. Get away from her, you coward! <sighs> Get lost! You monster! Who is that old woman? It takes courage to confront Edward like that. The saccateurs Edward used, they ended up in this corner. Straight up crazy time. What just happened? I could ask you the same thing. You started to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling and the lassie came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong, determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her. It was her husband. He was the bother. Couldn't, uh, <clears throat> you can? Hmm? I think so, yes. Aye, well, uh, Edward blamed Cecilia for it. For picking the wrong man for her mate. You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. Yeah, you just had a hallucination. You just need fresh air. <laughs> I need to know if there's proof to what I saw. Check the wall. The secretaries should be... Here they are. How can I know? This seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory. The crack is right there. Edward was furious. Seems like him and great-grandmother Rose didn't see eye to eye. Oh my god, I still have to examine that body. <laughs> Trust your instincts, laddie. Good. Are you all right? Probably not, but... Am I all right? I should be asking you. Oh, I'm so sorry I hurt you. I don't know what happened. Don't worry. I faced much worse in the asylum. She's tough. I don't think it's possible to face her. Sorry again. 
Maybe don't leave me outside like a naughty puppy next time. Yes, quite. <laughs> naughty puppy. <laughs> That's sweet. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn. Just like your father. Sorry. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the loch. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes. No biggie. But my family has a graveyard full. Whatever secret this family is hiding, it's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid. My father. God knows how many more over the years. I think that's going to do it for me this time, guys. I'm still recovering from the little rat bite, so I just finished the antibiotics and... Uh, they're making me really tired. <sighs> I mean, I'm always really tired, but <laughs> making me sleepy. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye.